Good afternoon, everyone, and let me just thank you all for being with us. With us, have our first lady with us today, Marty Kemp. Kemp, as you all, thank you very much. As you all know, one year ago, ago a video shocked the world and sickened the hearts of, hearts of so in our state. Jordan and American in communities across the country. country Watched in horror, the killing of Ahmad Odd Aubrey was a light on our phone screens and in TV podcasts. Ahmad, Ahmad was the victim of a anti style of violence that has no, has no place in the country or in our, in our state. It quickly became an anti podcast. Ahmad, Ahmad was the victim of an anti style of violence that has no, has no place in the country or in our, in our state. It quickly became. Representative Carl Gilliard, Chair Chairman of Castration, Representative William Bodie, Representative Glor Gloria Azer, Representative Al Williams, Lieutenant Governor Duncan, Duncan, Senators Bill Kowser and Brian Strickland, as well as state and local law enforcement and civil rights leaders like Reverend Woodall Hall and the Georgia NAACP to craft bill, House Bill 4499. This bill, this bill makes the first, first state to appeal its citizens' arrest statute. Today, we're placing a Civil War era law for abuse with language that balances the state right to self-defense of a person and property with our shared responsibility to root out injustice and set our state on a better path forward. Thanks to the hard work of the people I just mentioned, our citizens' arrest overhaul received unanimous passage in the House and overwhelming support in the Senate. So often we spend time under the gold dome arguing over differences, but the outpouring of bipartisan support that this bill re received, I believe, is a testament to the fundamental char character of our state. Georgia has a long history in the fight for justice from the civil rights movement to leading the way on criminal justice reform to passing anti-hate crimes legislation last year. Here in the Peach State, we will continue to show the world that Georgia is too great for hate. We are to have Ahmad's mother, Ms. Wanda Cooper Jones, and his sister join us today. On behalf of, behalf of all of I want to thank you both for, for being hate. here. People all over. People all over this state and nation, the Kemp family included, have been praying for you and your lo your loved ones this past year. I'd also like to recognize the creation of the Maud Aubrey Found Foundation, which Miss Cooper Jones launched this past weekend. Ken, what would have been a Maud's 2027 20, birthday? We all know the so the stroke pen cannot bring back what you have lost. But today, in, in honor of God's memory, we commit to taking this step, step forward together. I want to thank you all for being here today. I again want to recognize former Representative Burt Reeves for his tireless to get this bill across, across the finish line. To the leadership of the House and the Senate and every member who supported this effort. There is no doubt that we still have challenges to face together, but we will, and that we will not always agree on how to get there. But I believe that Georgia will always meet the moment in what is right. Today, Georgia is doing what is right. God, God you all, you all, and God continue, continue to this great state of Georgia. And with that, we're going to sign this bill. Thank you very much.
Christ.